Hello and welcome back to my channel and to another Tesco food shopping haul. So I'm going to take through everything I bought this week in Tesco and then at the end I'll let you know how much I spent and I've also done another meal plan for next week. At the end of this video I'm also going to take you through what I got this month from Muscle Food and talk to you a little bit about them. They are a brand partner of mine and I've been buying from them for years and years and years but I'll talk more about that at the end of the video so if you're interested in seeing what meats I'm going to add to my shopping this week and what meals I'm going to be making then make sure you watch to the very end I've also got a discount code before we get to that let's have a look at what I got in Tesco I'll try and tell you the prices where possible talk about what deals they've got what things I've noticed have gone up that kind of thing because I'm all about trying to budget and help you guys save money and find the best offers on things as well and it's kind of my mission to try out the best value products and let you know whether they're worth buying or not so i got some leeks a broccoli it's quite a small head of broccoli i actually wanted frozen but they had none at all so i got a head of broccoli some coriander cucumber and some easy peelers these were a pound for six i got some celery i don't like celery as such but i've got a couple of recipes that require it this week so let me know in the comments, are you a celery lover or hater? Because it's one of those things, isn't it? You either absolutely adore it or you can't stand it. And I'm just not a fan. Green seedless grapes were on the club card deal. These were 99p. I got some jazz apples. I wanted to buy the pink ladies, but they were £2.80 for six. And these were on the club card deal for £1.70. So I thought for £1.10 difference, I'm just not paying it. So we've got jazz apples anyway. Some Nightingale Farms peppers, you get like five in here and you only end up with one green which isn't too bad, they're around 99p. Some brown onions, they were a pound. Massive iceberg lettuce. They got two lots of the British finest baby potatoes for a recipe I'm doing, but these were on the club card deal for 69p, so I didn't think that was too bad. I also got some carrots. I got a big bag of the imperfectly perfect ones. So it's one and a half kilo and they were 52p. So some quite good deals on the veg and bits. I got a block of Creamfields mozzarella. This is 50 something pence, I believe, or 49p. I actually picked up a bag of grated mozzarella. It just worked out so expensive to buy it like that. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just chop some up and it will do the same job. I got the Creamfields Mature Cheddar. This is £2.39 for 400 grams. And the cooking bacon that I've used in recipes before. This is 80 pence now. I believe it was 70 something. So it's gone up a little bit. This is a really, really good product. If you haven't watched my budget meals video, I use this when I'm making something that requires like chopped up bacon because you get 500 grams and it's 70 or 80 pence and if you look through them all and make sure you check out like each packet if you pick the one that hasn't got loads of fat so some of them had massive chunks of fat around it and you're paying by weight so all you're doing is paying for all the fat so i went through them all and i picked up the one that had the very least fat showing so i got more bacon for my money and i'm going to be making a really nice soup which is coming up in a soup recipe video I also needed some like long bacon. I do get medallions from Muscle Food, but I want to wrap chicken in it, so I got the longer bacon. This is one pound twenty-five. So we've got a tomato puree, which was a thirty-five pence. The deodorant that I usually buy for my husband has gone from two twenty-five to two seventy, um, and this one was on offer at two pounds. So I thought he can try that <laughs> because you know we might as well see if there's a a better value option. I've got a spiral pasta. I have got three or four bags of random pasta open in the cupboard. So my mission this week is when I make a pasta dish to use all the random bits before I open this one. So I'm going to hide this right at the back. I've got some garden peas for a recipe I'm making. Unfortunately, they didn't have their own make, which was 55 pence. This was £1.10 for the same size, but I needed them, so I had to get them. But I was a little bit cross that they weren't the, the other ones because I paid twice as much. Speaking of being cross, if you did watch my Tesco value like shopping video where I compared Tesco value products and like told you what I thought about them, you'll probably know that I absolutely love this make, the Hearty Food Co battered fish portions. I believe they were £1.79 before. I will check it um, and I'll pop it up on the screen because I need to go back and look at that video. 
but I'm going to insert a little clip because I was so shocked today that I actually got my phone out. They have gone up to £3.9 or £3.19, you'll see in the clip. Um, so they've gone up like over a pound in a week. Like last time I was in there I was going to buy some but I didn't need them so I didn't. And now they've gone up over a pound. I was just really surprised for something to go from one pound something to three pound something in such a short space of time. So I'll pop that little clip in of me like being so surprised I had to get my phone out. I was really disappointed because they were such a good price um, and really good value and really nice. But now they've gone up. They're this very, very similar to Bird's Eye and all the other makes. So a bit of a shame, but I suppose there's nothing we can do is there got some hearty food co fish fingers these are really good and um, when you compare percentages and things on the back these are actually cod they're not pollock and they are 64 percent cod and when i looked at the bird's eye they are comparable so these are actually 80 pence now they were 70 something you get 10 and they're very very nice so i've got those as well got some porridge oats because we eat a lot of porridge. A little tip that I've got as well is I really like banana porridge. Um, I have a scoop of protein powder, porridge and a banana. But for some reason, every time I buy bananas, unless I have porridge, they just go brown and I end up freezing them. So I thought instead of having a freezer full of them, I'm gonna use up all the ones out of my freezer. Um, so I peel them, put them in individual bags, pop them in the freezer, and then what I did the other day was just put one in the microwave with my porridge and my water. So I make it up with water and my protein powder. And it was just the same as adding a non-frozen banana. I just added a little bit less water. So if you do like bananas in your porridge, like my mum for example, but she lives on her own so she doesn't buy them. If you freeze them, you could even freeze them as soon as you buy them, as long as you peel them first. And then you can pop them straight into your porridge, put them in the microwave, and they kind of melt in and make your lovely banana porridge. So, And the kids love it as well. It goes down really well in the mornings, and it obviously keeps them really full. So just a little tip if you are fed up of your bananas going black. i got a hearty food co tomato and herb sauce. Nine times out of ten I make my own. I actually made a really nice one for like a cold pasta dish the other day. You may have seen it in my latest family dinner ideas video. Um... But I'm going to be honest, sometimes I'm just lazy or I run out of time and I just want to make something quick and easy. So I will add, like to this, I will add garlic, tomato puree, maybe a little bit of balsamic vinegar. But this is just the basis of it. So I haven't got to like chop all the onions and like blitz down the tomatoes and spend hours simmering it. It's just a really convenient food. So yeah, sometimes I'll hold my, I'll hold my hands up sometimes. I just cannot be bothered or I don't have the time so these things happen and it's handy to have in most of my food shop you'll see is like hearty food co and stockwell and growers harvest like tesco's i make there are a few things that you just can't scrimp on in my opinion one of them is marmite this was two pounds 65 they do do their own yeast extract which is one pound 80 um, but we've tried it and it we just don't like it it's a lot runnier um, and it has a really different flavour and this will last us months because we don't use a lot of it at all so I figured let's just get that one. Another thing that's puzzling me is lime juice and lemon juice. So the exact same bottle and the exact same like amount. Lime juice was 95p and the lemon juice was 55p I think. It's like a 40p difference. Why? Why are limes more expensive than lemons? I'm really not sure. If anybody knows, let me know. I needed it for a recipe, and I put this on everything. I put this on salads, on chicken. I will put it in drinks. I, I love lime juice. Got some granola. This is £2.75. Some um, all-purpose seasoning. This is just really nice sprinkled on like salad and things. Just peps it up a little bit. Some of the Hearty Food Co oven chips. These are 99p. And my favourite buy, or one of my favourite buys, used to be the fish, but I'm going to let it go, I promise. So I will only mention it another 3,000 times. Um, these are 66 pence, I believe, these pizzas. And I use them as a base. So they've already got tomato sauce, mozzarella and pepperoni on them. Um, I always just put extra bits. I might put tandoori chicken, feta cheese some onions, some peppers, some mushrooms. Basically, we use it like a build your own base pizza. 
um, you could put like ham and pineapple, tuna, whatever you like on your pizzas. But for 69p or 66p, whatever they are, you just cannot go wrong. Obviously, they can just be eaten as they are, but I just think it's such good value. So I've got three of those, and we will have a pizza night, but we will dump a load of extra toppings on. i got some milky bar mousse and some chocolate aero caramel um, bubbly <laughs> dessert things. These are a pound for four. I did want to buy some of the protein yogurts that I buy every week, but if you watch my little food haul, you'll see that I found a pot in there that I can split into three separate like plastic tubs. Well, it's at half the price of the protein yogurts I've been buying. So I was like, no, I've got a couple in the fridge and then I'm gonna make myself go to Lidl and buy some pots of it and split it up because it works out, instead of being 75p or one pound 10 a pot, works out being about 35p so big huge saving there so that's why i haven't got any this week i got some cheese strings two pound 25 for eight some mini tortilla wraps i'm actually making a another budget video and fish finger tacos is going to be in that video so that will be coming at some point i got some neville's like bigger wraps as well i always like to keep these in the freezer they're just really handy to have some semi-skimmed milk because the boys have that on their cereal. Tropical squash, quadruple. I'm not going to say any more about it. <laughs> I'm just still so disappointed. I got some Molly's chocolate chip cake bars. These were 55p for five and I just thought I'd make a nice little treat. I got some Costa coffee. The intense dark roast is really nice. I bought one the other day on offer because I'd run out. It was £3.50. And we were talking about percentages in my other food hall of coffee. Um, and a lot of you didn't realise that if you read the back of them, it tells you how much freeze-dried instant coffee is in something and how much ground roasted coffee is in something. I try and go for a 85% 85, 85 instant and a 15% roasted coffee. But the next best thing is obviously 90% instant and 10% roasted ground coffee. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so this is a good one, it tastes really nice, it's £3.50. While we were on the subject of checking labels, I did mention the other day, I've actually specifically got this out for this reason. I don't know if everybody is aware, and some places have actually stopped doing it, so I'm not sure if the law's changed, but it used to be the case that when you bought tomato ketchup, they had to put on it, I'll try and focus, how many grams of tomato per 100 grams of ketchup they used. And I'm trying to focus, if you can see that, it says, this one says, made with 148 grams of tomato per 100 grams of ketchup. So this varies greatly between ketchup, sometimes you can get a very, very low amount, and sometimes you can get a lot more. So it is something else that is worth keeping an eye on if you are buying a value ketchup, and it does state on the back how many grams there are. You can compare it to the other ketchups and see which one works out the best tomato -y value. You can see the colour of this one is really red. This is the Audi one. And I think if you compare this to like the Tesco Stockwell one, you'll see that it's quite orange and the amount of grams of tomato per bottle is a lot less. So just thought I'd point that out. Some people have always looked at that kind of thing and think it's completely obvious, but some people won't have had any idea that they actually put that on the bottles. So I just like to share these things. If every time I think something like that, I'm like, right, I'm gonna put it in the video. Same with things like hot chocolate, obviously. If we try and look at the ingredients, it's really hard to focus. Same with on here, you can see that it says on the hot chocolate, cocoa powder, 21%. This is the Galaxy. I've then grabbed my options hot chocolate out of the cupboard, which I've had in there for a while and was running out of. And if we look at the ingredients of that, you can see that there is 20% cocoa powder. So the Galaxy has actually got more cocoa powder. So, and if you look down, this one actually has 6% of Belgian chocolate, so it's got 20% cocoa powder, 6% Belgian chocolate. The Galaxy has 21% cocoa powder, and when you look down the ingredients, the Galaxy has 6% of milk chocolate. So if it makes a difference to you, then you get more cocoa in Galaxy, but it's milk chocolate, and options actually do use Belgian chocolate in theirs with a slightly less cocoa powder. So it's all about reading the labels and, you know, if it is your kind of thing, some people would just be thinking, no, <laughs> you're just waffling, just grab whatever one you want. But to other people, it's really interesting. I find it interesting to compare things because sometimes you'll just pick up, you'll just pick one up because it's what you're used to and you won't think to compare them. So anyway, I'll get back to my shopping now. <laughs> Got some crispy raisin slices. These are 90p for five packs of three little biscuits. 
some free range eggs i got 15 because we do eat a lot of eggs i got some twiglets these were one pound 25 for six packs as always when the kids go back to school everybody seems to get poorly so i got some of these jakeman's throat and chest sweets if you've never tried these and you have a sore throat these are absolutely brilliant they're two pound and they're little individually individually wrapped cough sweets but they they seem much better than things like holes and um, lockets and all that kind of thing um i've got some ibuprofen and some paracetamol i got two lots of tango this was two pound for six so these are for my two younger children i say younger 12 and 15 to go in their little mini fridges they're sugar free just sparkling drink um, and then the 17 year old requested some energy drinks and he's 17 so he does he can have what he likes pretty much so i got him some of those some sweets for the weekend we always have a film at some point some Law Espresso coffee Nespresso thingies. I always get, you know, for the coffee machine. These were £2.50 for 10 Um, My mum's not feeling very well either, so I got her some sparkling water, but they didn't have their own. So I got the Highland Spring, which was £1.10 for two litres. And I also got some tumble dryer sheets. Not that I'm going to be using my tumble dryer, I mean no one's using their tumble dryer if they can help it but these are actually really nice to put in your underwear drawer or in your bed linen drawer or in your towel cupboard i just slot a few in there and they last for weeks and weeks and they just leave a really fresh smell so when you get your towels out you have really fresh smelling towels you get 40 in here so one pack will literally last months they're really good to put if you're going away and put in like suitcases or carry on bags or anything anywhere where you keep a like stack of clothes and they're just really good and they make things all smell really nice so i've got some of those i think they were like one pound 50 or something they weren't expensive some dog food, this one if you've got a pet is really good on my dog that has an irritable stomach, he can only eat this make, um, 5 kilos for £10 something so it's inexpensive as well but he's fine with it and he's thrive, he thrives on it. Got some meaty rolls for treats and I also got a 3 cheese bloomer for my mum, um, she likes her cheese bread and if she feels a bit better then she might want something nice to eat. So that all came to £81. And then I had club card vouchers that come through the door. So if you're not familiar with the club card, you spend so much money, you get points and then they convert them into vouchers and send them through your door. So I had like £9.50 of that, which took that off of it as well. So not too bad at all. So I'm going to talk to you about muscle food in a moment. One thing I did want to say about muscle food that I don't think I've mentioned in the clip is that the prices of the meat is very comparable if not better priced than the supermarket meat of the same equivalent so when you look on the website if you actually take it and compare to what you would pay in a supermarket for the same quality meats um, you will find the prices aren't dearer it's no more expensive it's often cheaper because they have so many hamper offers and so many buy one get two free deals and things like that plus you get it delivered plus you get discount codes so i just wanted to point that out it is definitely worth going and having a look so what i'm going to do is take through my meal plan so the two soups i'm going to be making i'm going to be doing a pea and ham or pea and cooking bacon soup and i'm also going to be making a broccoli and stilton soup so that's what the broccoli is for i'm going to be doing stuffing filled bacon wrapped chicken <laughs> that seemed quite difficult so chicken breast sliced open filled with stuffing wrapped in bacon and i'm doing that as a roast dinner with roast potatoes and vegetables i'm making a bolognese bake with baby new potatoes that's a new one as well for me we're going to be having pizzas one night with all the toppings i'm probably going to make some tandoori chicken and i've got some sausages in the fridge that we could chop up and put on it um, we could always use cooking bacon if we don't use it or we'll just top them with all different things loads of veg mushrooms peppers onions chilies so we have a pizza night I'm also going to be making fish finger tacos and I'm going to make a big chili con carne and then I'm going to do chili dogs with the leftover chili so I've got sausages and I've also got bread rolls in the freezer that need using up because they're getting a bit freezer burnt so that's my meal plan for next week. I've got a few new ones on there that I'm looking forward to. The stuffing filled chicken wrapped in bacon just looks amazing. And so does the bolognese bake. So they will all be in upcoming videos. So make sure you subscribe. 
And now I'm gonna take you through my muscle food. So I'd like to thank Muscle Food for sponsoring this section of the video. I have worked with Muscle Food for a really long time and I've bought them with my own money for even longer. So Muscle Food is an online delivery service. It specializes in high protein lean meat. There's also recipe kits and meal plans that you can subscribe to. It's just such a versatile site. It's really easy to go and order from them. You just click on the website. There's always brilliant offers on on the website as well. I have a discount code which is five pound off a 60 pound spend and Muscle food have recently changed it so that you can actually use that again and again and again on different orders it used to be just for your first order but now you can use it anytime you order that code is victoria5 and i will leave it linked in the description box along with the link to muscle food so if you are interested then make sure to go and check that out so just a little selection of some of our favorites i do order a lot of the same thing but i also take advantage of the hampers that they do because you can really save money if you look on there. Sometimes you'll get an offer as crazy as buy one hamper and get three free, or buy one and get one for one penny. The meals work out really, really cost effective, and I've said it a million times, I wouldn't promote this if it wasn't something I used myself and found the quality amazing. You've all heard about our chicken thighs and seen them as well. This is great to just pop in the air fryer, it takes about 20 minutes, and my boys love them in wraps or burgers. We kind of do like a Nando's thing. I know Nando's isn't tandoori, but it's that kind of thing. We do spicy rice, halloumi, no fuss, no prepping. It's just there, ready. Everything freezes really, really well. I've got some pork and apple sausages. I'm thinking of like maybe a giant Yorkshire pudding filled with pork and apple sausage, mash and veg. Now we're getting to that little bit of like autumny weather. I think that'd be perfect. We've got some pork, chili and garlic sausages. These I usually chop up and pop in a salad. And the sticky Italian ones I think would make a really nice slow cooker sausage casserole but with a little bit of a spicy kick. Just some of the ideas of what I'm gonna be making. We've got some meatballs here, which is brilliant if you are feeling lazy and don't wanna make your own. It's really high quality, free range grass fed beef. So you can just pop those in a sauce and not worry about it. They do a big gluten-free range as well. So we've got some of the gluten-free barbecue chicken burgers and the plain chicken burgers. Again, these are really good chopped up and sliced in salad. Pork mince is really, really lean. It's less than 2% fat. I use this predominantly for my scotch eggs. I absolutely love it. It's just so much better quality than using sausage meat. And I add lots of flavorings to it. Lots of black pepper and basil and things like that and it always goes down so well. Beef burgers, like I said, you cannot beat the price and you cannot beat the quality. Definitely comparable with supermarkets and I would say the quality is better. They don't shrink, they stay the size they are when you start cooking them and they're the same size at the end. I hate it when you go to cook a burger like this big and then when you finish it's like this big. <laughs> Pork loin steaks, again, these are something that don't take very long to cook at all. They're literally two to three minutes on my electric grill and these are so good. Sometimes we do like a Greek kind of seasoning on them and we do them with feta in like flatbreads. So versatile. The bacon medallions, as you can see, all the fat has already been removed. Really healthy. You haven't got the big chunks of fat and also you're not paying for the fat. You're paying for what you get and the bits that you're gonna wanna eat. This is just a little selection. Obviously, I also love the chicken breast, which I get in bulk every single month and I portion it up and freeze it. And I have said it quite a few times, but the chicken breast actually works out better value than buying a sliced chicken in the supermarkets so you can use it for sandwiches and things for pat lunches so yeah this is just a few of our favorites all delivered direct to your door they give you a one hour time slot when they're going to arrive and they are always spot on and i always get an email and a text message telling me when it's going to come and then i get one saying that it's been delivered so if i'm not home and it's left on the doorstep i know it's there i will leave everything you need to know down in the box below just click on show more and it will pop up click on the link and it will take you straight to the website and don't forget to use the code to save another five pound as always everything you see here will be shown in my meals of the week videos every single week 99 percent of my meat comes from muscle food very rare that i buy it from anywhere else so every time you see me using meat it will be from muscle food you know, literally just as i'd finished filming the food hall my neighbor phoned and asked me to go in the back garden um, and she passed these tomatoes over the fence we're so lucky bless them they grow their own veg and we have like runner beans they do mini cucumbers and tomatoes and we get loads and loads and they are the sweetest little tomatoes and obviously there's only two of those and they just can't keep up with them so we get an absolute ton but they are so much nicer than the supermarket i just think it's so lovely and um, they're in the 90s so 
<laughs> really, really sweet. Just thought I'd show you how kind some people are. This is so sweet. Little tomato haul. So that is it for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you are enjoying these kind of videos. I do do them every single week. I try my best to search out the best deals and the things that I would buy for our family that I would really recommend. So if you do like that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe. Please leave me a like because it really does help promote my videos and reach more of you. And I will be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want? Maybe somewhere you think about me too